Welcome back to another episode of Backlash Angling. We are out here on Lake Erie. It is the start of August and it should be full walleye swing right now. We got five of us out here, so we got a full spread. As we go through this episode, we're gonna show you a little bit about how we run our rig. Uh, we got a pretty big setup, as you can see, uh, with the back of our boat's pretty big, so we can run a lot of rods. So we'll kind of go through the different lures we go through, the different, uh, different types of baits, different depths, what we're looking for on the radar and on the sonar, and uh, just how we uh, just how we get our spread out as much as possible so we can get as many fish in the boat. So we just got out here, we got all the lines set up now, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait for that first fish. So hopefully it's soon, and then we'll get into more detail about what we're running. Okay, so what we're seeing right here is we pulled up into our first spot. We're sitting in about 75 to, we're looking from about 75 to 110 foot range, but the main thing when you're looking for is if you're pulling up to a spot and you're trolling around and you're not seeing any bait or any marks give it some time they'll come if they don't come then you gotta get going out on Lake Erie right now in that summertime we're looking for all these little things all these little marks are either little dispersed bait schools big bait schools down here you'll see a bait school right here and these can all be silver bass they could be some walleye disparate there might be some rainbows in there so we're marking a ton of fish there is some interference amongst this but there's definitely fish around here we're seeing a lot around the deep portions right now it's still a little bit early it's about 5 30 right now so we're uh, we're hoping that these clumps and these marks all along the bottom start to become more active as that night comes and they start to move up earlier or a little bit shallower into that we'll say 30 to 50 foot range and then hopefully that uh kind of that dusk bite comes on and uh, we can start putting some walleye in the walleye in the boat right now we're just kind of hoping for a few uh a few to keep us busy before that that kind of that hot bite comes in at the evening time so that's exactly what we're looking on our sonar when it comes to uh picking our places where we're going to start yeah, they charge for like $24. Oh, really? Fish, 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 fish. Got it. Who wants it? Not up right now. Sean gets it. That's what we just marked, eh? Yeah. That's 100% what we just marked. Coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up. Still on? Oh, yeah. You're running here. I'm going to go down. Nice ball. Same lure. Oh, we actually marked this guy and we had just put the rigger down a bit because we were marking a ton on the bottom. And I looked over and I'm like, I think that looks fishy on the rigger. Sure enough, bam, 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 shot straight up to the surface. And your classic, you know, four or five pound nice rainbow. So, one on the board. Sorry, keep me. It was running 45 and dropped it down to 61. Discovered that's pretty much where the thermocline is. And then we caught this nice brown, which is uh, it's our first brown off a rigger, I think ever. Beautiful fish. 32? 26 inch. 26 inch. 26 inch. Or just about seven pounds. Nice. Beautiful. Because it's in deep, we, we were keeping it because it came up. Two in the box. Two in the box.
that's our first walleye of the night. It uh, ended up with a little bit of a long line. So the, what we're running right now and what we've we've always had success over the years with is our lead core lines. If anybody doesn't know what a lead core line is, it's, 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 it's lead within a line. It's got a knitted line and you just got li uh, lead within it. So as you get through different colors, it goes down deeper and deeper. It runs the lines really far back from the boat. So the boat doesn't spook off the fish. So right now we got four or five, five of those run, five lead cores, I think. We have five lead cores, and what we do is we mix them up with a little bit of a mix between uh, worm rigs, which are worm harnesses, which come with different things. You can have blades, you can have little deep divers. We have a couple videos of those showing what kind of different worm harnesses we use. We also run little body baits. What we just got that walleye on was a little purple magic uh, yaleye uh, body bait, and uh, we just got a few of those. They've been really killer this year, and then occasionally we throw a little spoon in there. So that's our kind of our long lines, what we got for our leg course. Other than that, we've got a couple downriggers down, which have been good for our, uh, what we got those uh, rainbows on, our sheep head and our, uh, and our uh, brownie. And uh, what we're doing is we're usually running spoons on those downriggers because they're nice little fluttery. And we find that the body baits end up popping them and the, the worm rigs just don't stay on it because it keeps right down and it's a lot of speed. So that's kind of the setup we got running. We try to keep it as widespread as possible. On this side, we got uh, our big planer board, which has our three, uh, three lead cores off it. And then on this far side, we just have a little small planer board on it. So it's, a, it's an extensive spread. It's a, it's, it's, task. it's a task to get them all out there. And it's, uh, if things go wrong, it can go really wrong. We just had a, Chris is working on some right now with our lead core. But yeah, if, if you get your uh, lines further out and as far back, that's probably your best bet of getting some walleyes in the boat. So hopefully that number, uh, that first walleye is uh, one of many and we can keep pumping them out here. So let's wait for that next bite. officially packed up we got everything in we ended up with six walleye in the boat and brown and a rainbow so it was a pretty sweet four and a half hours that we had out here yeah the main things I wanted to touch about that I touched about in the video is don't be weary when you come across fish and cross bait if you're not getting in bites we had many situations here where we we're going through 45 minutes without a bite and it was just that it's that dust bite that those walleyes turn on and then we ended up with six in the bag which we're happy about so yeah stick with it look for that bait look for the bait fish we were mainly getting our bites on the yaleye body baits today and uh, just the Apex uh, Lindy worm rigs that have like the little kicker in the front. They're awesome, they've been killer for us for many years and I would definitely suggest getting a few of those. So yeah, the yaleye and the uh, old Apex Lindy rigs, they're killers. Get out here, get out on Lake Erie and enjoy it. And make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, stay uh, up to date with our content. We'll catch you next time.